she has triumphed. You said that it would be so, Durga. And yet, so many souls have been lost to Rangda's greed. It is a great victory, but Rangda was never a clever creature. Now Raji must face the schemer behind Rangda. How will she fare against Mahabalasura, who holds her brother's life in his palm? messenger was exhausted. He warned Raji of what lay in his land. A conqueror had come, bringing demons, death and despair. It was her only way to reach Golu. They must move swiftly. army would do anything to stop Raji reaching the mystic land. The mystic. wounded. Raji must continue on her own. Good. Rest now and be safe. Surah has brought war upon the mystics, his own people. It was inevitable. He tried to lead them, but, but his arrogance took him too far. Raji must be careful. He may still have supporters. <laughs> 
amongst them. As you say, it is war. And in war, all things are possible. Beware, Raji. These creatures are bred for quickness and stealth. They are weapons of war. In another circumstance, that might please you, Durga. Balasura was one of them once. They have been separated from humanity for far too long. The mystics are a part of Lord Shiva's balance in the world. The humans are weakened and the demons strong. A balance must be restored.
is a demon battle totem, a foul thing, which summons a multitude of creatures. Raji must beware.
separated. He stays with me. We will face together whatever is to come.
you spoke of Lord Shiva acting. This is his shrine. It is no coincidence that Raji finds herself here. Time will tell. Shiva, Mahadev, was it you who summoned me to this place? How may I stop this war and save my brother? Mahadev, I will find my way. Thank <laughs> you. 
mother child, her brother. He has spent much time with Mahabalasura. I cannot see the smile for the boy. He is a twisted creature. He will use gold to defeat Rav. against her. She must be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
the shadow of the sun will decide the fate of many a man. Baba, what do our ancestors' words mean? It is the birth of Piplad, an aspect of Lord Shiva. When Piplad was just a young boy, his father Dadhichi gave his own bones in sacrifice to the Devas to defeat the Asuras. Piplad asked the Devas why his family should suffer such bad fortune. And they told him it was simply due to the alignment of the planets. Piplar was furious at this fate and cursed Shani of the ringed planet, whose celestial home started to fall from the sky. The Devas interceded, pleading for mercy on Shani, for Piplar to lift the curse. Piplard agreed on the condition that Shani's position would no longer bring trouble on anyone of less than 16 years old. This is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha snubbed the girl and insulted Shiva in public. Sati was unable to bear it and threw herself into the sacrificial fire. Shiva fell into a great rage pulled a lock of hair from his brow, lashing the ground with it. And there sprang up Virabhadra, fierce warrior of Shiva, who destroyed Daksha and extinguished his fire. Even, even I could not stop him. The birth of Ashwatthama, gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead that made him a mighty warrior. After Drona was killed through trickery, Ashwatthama issued a challenge to Arjuna. Both warriors used mantras to create mighty world-destroying weapons. Arjuna was wise and withheld his weapon, but, but Ashwatthama did not. Instead, directing it at Uttara, Arjuna's daughter-in-law, utterly destroying the lineage of the Pandavas. For that action, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama and cut the gem from his forehead. For thousands of years, he roamed the forests of the world with blood and pus oozing from his injury. It is rumored he walks there still. There was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased and wished to travel with my avatar in my journey to aid me. But Parvati begged him to stay with her. 
there was a devoted king, Kesari, of the monkey people, who prayed to Shiva for a child. And so, as a means to assist me, and as boon to Kesari, Shiva was born as Kesari's son and became Hanuman, who was helper to my Rama. Burn. Golu, you are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you are safe. death and bone and blood. It will not be pleasant, yet she must learn the extent of her enemy's malice. Thank you. 
it needed to be seen. She must know what Mahabala Sura is capable of. I am sorry, Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, but for all who suffer this evil. village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long. the mystics will not survive Mahabalasura's attack for long. She must be swift. Demi-god! This is 
is not her foe. This is the guardian of the land of the mystics. He is enraged by the corruption, by the taint of this invasion. She must win his trust. I shall snap you to pieces and swallow your skin. I will not suffer press battles. Gajan.
chieftain's life was in peril. She stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader, but his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Golu saw his chance. and he ran to his sister as the enemy disappeared raji was near death but here she was among the mystics most knowledgeable practitioners of magic they could not save her then no one could finally she was with golu but this could not last